In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your custom archive layout using post widgets from unlimited elements and also using our new archive pagination widget to create a custom pagination for your custom archive. Let's get started. Hi and thanks for joining. It's a meet from Unlimited Elements and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a custom archive page with custom navigation using Unlimited Elements widgets for Elementor. So first of all of course you're going to need Elementor and Elementor Pro installed and you're going to need Unlimited Elements Pro version which will allow you to download the different post widgets and the archive pagination widget which adds pagination to your archive page what's nice about these post widgets that you have inside of unlimited elements is that any one of these can be turned into a custom archive page and then edited exactly for your needs even if you need to add custom fields or edit the html or just use it out of the box just like it is so Let's get started and see how we can set this up quickly on our live website. So over here, inside of Unlimited Elements, you're going to want to navigate to the Post Widgets category and select the Post Widget that you want to create an archive from. Now today, what I think I'm going to be using is actually Post Blocks. So I got that already installed. If it's not installed, you just hover over it and then click install. So I'm gonna use the post blocks for my layout and I'm going to use the archive pagination which you also need to hover over and install in case it's not already installed in your website. Right now I got both these installed. So the next step is jumping into templates and over here we're going to go into theme builder and select archive because we're going to create an archive then click on the big green button over here and click add new archive. The name of my archive is going to be blog because this is what I'm going to use this for. But of course you can use this for anything. If it's going to be showcasing events or your portfolio or real estate. So think about how you can use this and I'm going to click create template for my blog. Elementor is going to suggest some predefined templates and we don't want to use any of these because this tutorial is about creating a custom blog layout or archive layout. So I'm going to close these predefined library suggestions by clicking the X or the close button on top. And over here inside of our archive template, we want to drag in the post widget that we've just installed from Unlimited Elements. So I'm going to search over here for post blocks, which is the widget that I want to install and drag that post blocks widgets into my archive layout. Now look how awesome this is. It's loading all of the posts inside of here. Inside of the post query section, we're going to want to change the post source instead of custom posts. Now it's showing a manual selection of custom posts. We're going to change the custom post to current query post. What this means, it's going to select the post from the query that the page selects. And in our case, it's going to be the blog page, which you set up in the menu. Over here, when you click blog, we want this layout to be open. So that's why we select in post sources, current query post under post query. The next part is adding pagination. So to add pagination, I'm going to click my widget pane and I'm going to search for the word pagination. Awesome. Here we go. Archive pagination. And I'm going to drag that inside. What this widget does, it just adds pagination for your archive layout. Now you have a bunch of styling options here. For example, if you think these are too close together, you can add some margin maybe inside of the numbers over here. So let's just space these out a little bit. And the next thing inside of content, 
We can see preview next buttons. We can also turn those on if we want to. We can determine the icon. We can decide to turn off the icons inside of the next and previous buttons. So really you can customize this exactly how you want to. And I'm going to click publish. Over here, I'm going to add a condition and it's going to affect all of my archive pages on my website. And that's it, we're set up to go. Let's jump into our website and click on blog. Now we're going to see the exact layout that we've created with our custom navigation and everything is working and looking awesome. Now an archive page shows 10 items and right now the last row of items is kind of empty. So what I'm going to do instead is I can actually select over here inside of the, po the blocks the post blocks widget, I can select two columns and now it will be split to five and five, which I think looks better. Or you can even select just one column and then you have a layout with one under the other, just like this. Inside of the section, we can squish this down a little bit. And of course you can change the grid gap, for example, if you want more space between these and stuff like that but that's how you customize it. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I'm gonna click update to just save. So when you navigate to our blog, you can see an awesome blog with the post blocks and our archive pagination widget. Thank you guys for joining and I'm gonna see you in the next video.